This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for Streamside Adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. Hard to believe we're two weeks into the turkey season, middle of May here already. Before you know it, it'll be Memorial Day weekend, but I'm not rushing things. A lot of people out there doing some fishing, doing some turkey hunting, and doing well at both. This time of year, and probably within the last three or four weeks, the shad start returning to rivers on the east coast of the United States. The most popular return of the shad is up the Delaware River. Now, Rusty Held is a guide on the Delaware River for shad. He said, the water levels are a little high, but I'm sure if you come over, we could catch a shad or two. We are in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Uh, Easton is across the river from us. We are at the Free Bridge area, Northampton Street Bridge. Uh, we'll be fishing today, uh, probably where the Lehigh comes in, the Lehigh Confluence. So that's, uh, that's about where we're at. So Easton, Phillipsburg, yep. and we're the Lehigh south. River, yep. right? We're going south. That, that's the dam that's holding back the Lehigh, right? Right. Shad come up the river to spawn. They have one thing in their mind when they come up, the males and the females, rows and the bucks. Uh, they basically, anything that gets in their way, they hit out of aggression. They don't feed. They just uh, hit the lure to smack it to get out of the way. They, they have one thing on their mind, they want to spawn and that's it. They, do, they have nothing else, they don't eat. So they, they run the trip from the bay all the way up through, all the way up into New, into New York. So let's just say I decide I'm gonna take my boat out and I'm gonna fish here. What are you looking for as far as the top of the water or do you have uh, to know the river? You have to know the river a little bit yeah. to know where you're fishing. We have guys that come down here that hardly ever fish the river and they don't don't know where the fish are running. They just you learn it over the years. Right. Been doing this for probably forty years. Have you really? Yep. Yeah, forty years. So you're gonna drop an anchor, right? Yep. Rusty says the key to anchoring a boat in the faster current of the Delaware River is to put out a lot of rope. So this is the time of the year. We're in the first week of May. Is this the middle, the beginning, the uh, end? This Tell is me about that. middle, about two thirds of the way through. So we started hitting already beginning of April, about first or second week of April, and then uh, went from there. So, how have they been coming up? Uh, spotty. They're real spotty this year. We don't know if it if it's the weather. We had a lot of cold nights that just killed the bite. Uh, we fished a tournament here for four days, the Bi State Shad Tournament and the bite was horrible. It was just, we had some 30 degree nights and it just killed the bite. It was, never had a year like that. So explain your rig, what are you gonna do here? We're gonna use a couple different methods today. We're gonna okay. use down riggers for one. Okay. We're gonna use a diver plug, which is poor man's down rigger. Now this, the, this is simply a crankbait, a crankbait, you took the hooks the, off. With the hooks and a simple spoon. Now what are you using for at just the end of the line, I was going to say bait, right? Just a shad spoon. They hit this out of aggression. That's Color matter? Some days. Some days it doesn't. It's it's not. Uh, some days it's silver. Some days it's gold on the back. Uh, some days it's different colors. Are the guys the, from short throwing those or are they uh, shad darts using too, right? They're using darts. Most of them are using darts. Okay. Some are using uh, spoons. So you're just going to let that out the back of the yep. boat? And the, and the actual crankbait is going to take it down to a certain level? Yeah. Okay. And the downriggers, the same thought process as like Lake Ontario, right? They, yep. they drop it down to the level that you drop want it, it to Drop it down to where, where you think they are. You play around until you find them, different footages. Okay. It took Rusty about five minutes to get all of the rods in the water, and now he just sit and wait. What is it about this fish? It's bony, it, it doesn't hit to eat, it's only about the aggression, but what is it about this fish that people say, I can't wait for the shad to run? 
It's a, uh, they call it the poor man's tarpon. It uh, gives you a real good fight on ultralight rods. Excellent fight. It's, uh, they run, they see the boat and then they just take off. Uh, they're, they're bony, they're a real strong fish. Uh, you get a four or five pound fish on the line, it's, you know it's there. You know it's there. Yep, it's not like a trout or a bass or whatever. It's, uh, it really, they really take off. Yeah, I think he's got one on there. They were picking away at him yesterday over there. A nice, nice mix they had. Well, he's taking the time to root, to get that in. They're good fighters, right? Yeah, yeah, they're they're fun from the shore. They really are. I mean, they're they'll take a run fifty at a hundred foot at a shot. Oh, no kidding. Yep. So most people don't keep them. No. You know anybody that really enjoys eating? I had a couple out yesterday, an older couple, and they kept them. You've been doing some guiding. Um, what have you been catching? Have you been putting them in the boat? Yeah, yeah, we've been out. Uh, I've been out for the last uh, two weeks, roughly, and we've been picking away at them. Nothing, nothing real heavy, but uh, we're getting them. So sometimes they come through in big schools and we whack doubles, triples. You just don't know. There we go, right there, Don. Just bring it right up over, all the way up in the center. Beautiful. Let me take that clicker off. I'm not making this line here. Okay. Just pull up and then reel down. Just pull up easy, easy. Now reel down. Oh wow, this is fighting nice. I see why guys like doing this. Nice. Nice. Look at how clean that fish is. Beautiful. So that's a male, female? That's a male. That's a buck. <laughs> He's a slimy mouth. buck, too. Just watch the hook in the mouth. Burn his mouth. Yeah. So there it is. First shot of the trip. <laughs> nice job. And you release all your fish, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Here we go. And he's gone. There he goes. Nice he's gone. job, baby. Now bring on another dozen. Love it. So we had a couple of misses right there before that, but we finally put one in the boat. And of course, we are indeed going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to get into more shad and more about Rusty Held, the guide on the Delaware River. So stick around. <laughs> 